The next, the next application, application of anti-air circuit lies magnetic, magnetic field intensity due to infinite sheet of current. Magnetic field intensity due to infinite sheet of current. So consider an infinite sheet of the current. That infinite sheet of the current is placed in that is equal to zero plane. That is equal to zero plane. So that surface carries charge density. Sorry, surface current density K bar. K bar is a surface current density. The current flowing in positive y direction is K bar is equal K y into A bar. So this is a infinite sheet of the current. The infinite sheet of the current is placed in Z is equal to zero plane. That is x y plane. So this sheet carries current density, surface current density K bar. If the current is flowing in positive y direction, the surface current density K bar is equal K y into K y bar. So consider closed path or ampere and path as shown in figure. Consider the closed path or ampere and path as shown in figure. So the closed path or ampere and path is one two 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 three three two four four two one. Is the closest path ampere path as shown in figure. The width of the path is B and height of the path is A. E. So the current flowing across the distance B. The current flowing across the distance B is given by I enclosed is equal K Y into B. Consider the magnetic lines of the force due to the current in a y bar direction according to right hand thumb rule. According to right hand thumb rule. In figure, it is clear that in between the conductors are very close to the each other. So now here, the now here the current flowing in y direction because of that along the direction there is no magnetic field intensity. There is no magnetic field intensity. So the magnetic field intensity can exit either in x direction or z direction. Either x direction or z direction. The two conductors are parallel to each other. Parallel to each other. Suppose from the figure. So path one to two along this direction, the component is minus H Z. This is going to downward direction. So this path, this path is parallel to Z axis. From path one to two, the component is minus H Z, and this path three to four path is parallel to the Z direction. That is going to the positive Z direction. The component is H Z. So because of that, one to two and three to four that. Paths are very close to the each other. So minus H Z component and plus Z S Z components are cancelled to each other. So therefore, along the direction there is no magnetic field intensity. So the magnetic field intensity can exist only in X direction. Along Z direction there is no magnetic field intensity, and along Y direction there is no magnetic field intensity. Now we have the current density is moving along positive Y direction. So because of that. Along that direction, there is no magnetic field intensity. So the magnetic field intensity can exist only in x direction. So therefore, along x direction, the magnetic field intensity h bar is equal h x a x bar per j greater than zero positive direction. And h bar is equal minus h x a x bar per j less than zero negative direction below the x y plane. So applying ampere circuit law, what is the statement of the ampere circuit law? Closed line integral of h bar dot d e, h bar dot d l bar is equal enclosed current. So that is the statement of the ampere circuit law. So evaluate the integral along the path. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 1. That is a closed path or ampere path. So find out, find out the above integral over the path 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1. So for path 1 to 2, the elementary length dl bar is equal minus bz into az bar. Path 1 to 2. That is going to 
negative z direction because of that minus a z power. The element in the real bar is equal minus dz into a z power. For path 3 to 4, 3 to 4 is moving positive z direction. Because of that, the elementary length dl bar is equal to dz into a z bar. But h bar in the magnetic field intensity is a, the magnetic field intensity magnetic field intensity exists only in x direction. So that is h bar is equal to hx ax bar and h bar is equal to minus hx ax bar. For path 1 to 2, what is the elementary length minus dz az bar? So now calculate h bar dot dl bar value, h bar dot dl bar value. For path 1 to 2, h bar dot dl bar is equal to minus hx, hx ax bar dot dz az bar. So dot product of different unit vectors is 0, different unit vectors is 0. So because of that, because of that, Path 1 to 2 and path 3 to 4, the closed line integral of h bar dot dl bar is equal to 0. And similarly, calculate the path 2 to 3 and path 4 to 1. For path 2 to 3, the elementary length dl bar is equal to 2 to 3. Path 2 to 3 that is going to negative x direction, that is going to negative x direction. So, elementary length dl bar is equal to minus dx ax bar and path 4 to 1 that is going to positive x direction. So because of that, element length the dl bar is equal dx ax bar. So now calculate integral 2 to 3. 2 to 3 means path 2 to 3 h bar dot dl bar is equal integral 2 to 3. 2 to 3 is going to negative x direction. So along that direction, what is the magnetic field intensity minus hx ax bar dot Along negative x direction, path 2 to 3, what is the elementary length minus dx into ax bar? Dot product of same unit vectors is unity. ax bar dot ax bar is 1. So therefore, hx integral 2 to 3 dx is equal hx into what is the width of the path 2 to 3 b? So integral 2 to 3 dx is So for path 4 to 1, the elementary length dl bar is equal to dx into ax bar. For path 4 to 1 is going to positive x direction. Because of that, elementary length is dx into ax bar. So therefore, the integral 4 to 1 h bar dot dl bar is equal to integral 4 to 1 uh, along positive x direction, what is magnetic field intensity hx ax bar? Along positive x direction, what is elementary length dx ax bar? dot product of same unit vectors is unity. So therefore, hx into p. The width of the four to, path, path 4 to 1 width is p. So therefore, according to Ampere circuit law, closed line integral of h bar dot dl bar can be evaluated into four parts. That is, path 1 to 2, path 2 to 3, path 3 to 2 to 3, path, sorry, Path 1 to 2, path 2 to 3, path 3 to 4, path 4 to 1. So, the closed line integral of h bar dot dl bar can be split into 4 parts. That is, integral 1 to 2 h bar dot dl bar plus integral 2 to 3 h bar dot dl bar plus integral 3 to 4 h bar dot dl bar plus integral 4 to 1 h bar dot dl bar. For path 1 to 2, what is the, what is the value? 0. For path 3 to 4, what is the value? 0. For path 2 to 3, what is the value? hx into b. For path 4 to 1, what is the value? hx into b. So, these values already calculated in previous. These values already calculated. So, that is equal to hx into b. So, what is LHS term? That is current enclosed by the path. 2 hxb is equal to enclosed by the path hx is equal to i by 2 by hx is equal to i enclosed current is ky into b. So, numerator denominator b is cancelled 1 by 2 into k by and substitute, substitute this hx value into now here in this application the magnetic field intensity the magnetic field intensity exists along x direction only. Substitute this hx component 
value into this equation. Substitute HX value into this equation. So therefore, the magnetic field intensity due to infinite sheet of the current is H bar is equal. What is HX component here? 1 by 2 into K by 1 by 2 into K by So therefore, the magnetic field intensity H bar is equal. 1 by 2 K by AX bar per J greater than 0 and H bar is equal minus 1 by 2 K by AX bar per J less than 0. So this is the equation of magnetic field intensity to infinite sheet of a current. So in general, the magnetic field intensity to infinite sheet of the current is 1 by 2 into k bar cross k n bar, where k bar is the surface current density. So now where the surface current density is moving in y direction, that current density is moving in positive y direction, k bar is equal to a y into a y bar and a n bar is the unit vector in the direction normal to surface sheet. n bar is the unit vector in the direction normal from the current sheet. So what is the normal from the current sheet? a z bar. a y bar cross a z bar a x bar a y bar cross a z bar a x bar. So therefore 1 by 2 k into k y into a x bar for z greater than 0 and z less than 0 minus 1 by 2 k y a x bar. Next one is point form of ampere circuit L. Point form of ampere circuit L. So according to statement of the ampere circuit L, the line integral of the magnetic field intensity around any closed path is equal to current enclosed by that path. So that is closed line integral of H bar that DL bar is equal to I. So this is the integral form of the Maxwell equation, integral form of the Maxwell equation. So next, now calculate the point form or differential form of ampere circuit law. Differential form or point form of ampere circuit law. So using Stokes theorem. So what is the Stokes theorem? Close the line integral of H bar dot, close the line integral of A bar dot DL bar is equal to open surface integral of A bar Closed line integral of a bar dot dl bar is equal to open surface integral of del cross a bar dot ds bar. So that is the Stokes theorem. So now here h bar is the h bar is the vector quantity using Stokes theorem. The closed line integral of h bar dot dl bar is equal to open surface integral of del cross h bar dot ds bar. So that is equal. What is LHS term? Closed line integral of the magnetic field intensity around any closed path is equal to current enclosed by that path. And the LHS term is enclosed, current enclosed by the closed path. So that is equal, I is equal to open surface integral of del cross h bar dot PSR. But we know that the relationship between current and current density is I is equal to surface integral of j bar dot ds bar. So, LHS term substitute I is equal to surface integral of j bar dot ds bar. On both sides, surface integral is cancelled. On both sides, surface integral is cancelled. So, therefore, we get del cross h bar is equal to j bar. Del cross h bar is equal to j bar. But h bar is equal to b bar by mu naught. The relationship between magnetic field intensity and magnetic flux density, b bar is equal to mu naught into h bar. So del cross b bar is equal to mu naught into j bar. Where mu naught is the permeability of the free space. Mu naught is the permeability of the free space. So this is the equation of differential form or point form of ampere circuit L law. The equation one is the integral form of the Maxwell equation and equation 2 is the differential form or point form of the Maxwell equation.